Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek Welker and today we'll be discussing rust machining found within SOLIDWORKS CAM or CAMWORKS. Rust machining is used when a specific tool leaves a material because it is too large to fit in every crevice of the model. Within SOLIDWORKS CAM or CAMWORKS it is just a checkbox that is turned on in a roughing operation. For rust machining to work there needs to be leftover material from a roughing toolpath. Taking a look at this toolpath we can see it cuts everything perfectly. Let's go in and make the size of this tool to be 25 millimeters, for example. This makes it too big to successfully rough out this pocket. Now to create a rest machining operation, we need to create another roughing toolpath. To do so, we will right click on the mill part setup and generate a new roughing operation. Once the dialog is open, we can specify the tool we would like to use and then we'll have to associate the rough mill to the irregular pocket on the next tab. Once it has been accepted, we need to turn on rest machining. Within the roughing tab, there is a rest machining section where we will make all of our selections. Make sure the generate option is enabled and then change the machine drop down to previous leftover. This will check the previous toolpath and cut just the areas that it missed. Once accepted, we need to make sure that the roughing operation is in the correct location for the rest machining to work. Now that the toolpath has been generated, we can take a look at the toolpath to see how the second roughing operation just cuts out the areas not touched by the first. Now let's take a look at the simulation to see how it works. Remember that if you want this process to work for similar pockets, we can save the operation back to the database so that it will automatically add a rest machining operation to pockets of this size with the exact same settings and tool selections. I will also create a specific strategy called rough rest finish so that if I want to manually create this again, it will automatically add the rest operation. Let me close down this file and reopen so I can recreate the toolpath to show how the strategy automatically will add the rest machining operation. Once the mill part setup has been created, I can add a 2.5 axis feature by selecting on the bottom face as the face to cut. Within the end condition tab, this is where we'll specify the strategy we just created. We can select the top face as the end condition, and then within the island tab, we will auto detect. Once completed, I will generate the tool pass and you can see how this works. Notice that it adds two roughing operations and one finish, exactly like we had when we started. Now for similar pockets, you will be able to automatically generate a rust machining operation and not have to add it every single time. Hopefully you will take advantage of rest machining and saving back to the database. Thank you for watching another Cat Dimension Tech Tip. See you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.